Hi there, my name's Sarina Agnew and I work in Sophie Scott's lab. Uh, we work on speech production and speech perception. I'm particularly interested in uh, control of voluntary movement, so I am interested in things like how we move our hands and our mouths in order for, um, to communicate. I use a range of different techniques uh, in the lab to look at how uh, the brain processes different uh, kinds of movements. Um, I use functional magnetic resonance imaging, uh, which is a non-invasive technique which allows us to look at which parts of the brain are doing what. The technique relies on um, a very strong magnetic field uh, and uh, one lies in the middle of the magnetic field and um, the magnet is sensitive to blood flow. So the idea is, is that as you use different parts of your brain for different tasks, you recruit more blood uh, in order to get more oxygen and uh, we can image blood flow to a specific region. And I also use a technique called transcranial magnetic stimulation. We use a, um, an electromagnetic coil placed outside of the brain, uh, just on the surface of the skull, and uh, we use this to create uh, um, electrical signals in the brain. You can use it to create single pulses um, of activity and measure which kinds of muscles are involved in that, in that um, uh, process. You can use it uh, to increase activity in an area um, or decrease activity in an area which is known as a transient lesion. So in a recent experiment that I've done in the lab, uh, we used uh, theta burst stimulation, which is a spe specific kind of uh, transcranial magnetic stimulation, uh, which causes a transient lesion in a specific part of the brain, in order to look at how people perceive uh, emotional vocalisations of others. So we had people uh, in the scanner and we uh, played them uh, different kinds of sounds made by other people, such as sounds of laughter, fear, surprise. Um, and then we took them out of the scanner and we gave them TBS and we hoped to cause a, a transient lesion in the right premotor cortex. And then we very quickly put them back in the scanner again to see what had happened. So the advantages of using combined techniques such as fMRI and TMS um, is that you can really look at, at which, whether a part of the brain has a causal role in uh, a task. So functional imaging allows us to look at parts of the brain that are active whilst a task is being performed, but we don't necessarily know that that part of the brain is essential to that task. Uh, what is exciting about working in cognitive neuroscience? What isn't exciting about working in cognitive neuroscience? <laughs> what's exciting about cognitive neuroscience? <laughs> Uh, so what's exciting about working in cognitive neuroscience? Everything is exciting. All of the discoveries you make are brand new. One of the things I really like about it is that it brings together people that work in really different fields. So you have psychologists, you have biologists, neuro neurobiologists, computational scientists, linguists. So you have this incredible uh, mix of people that are all working together. But for me, the mystery has always been how brains work and how, what, how neurally um, the human experience is encoded. Uh, so for me, this is a dream job.